underestimate me at your peril. Single mum Melody Mundy from Essex has been dealing cars for two years. I'm out getting my nails done today, but my main thought is, does someone in here want a car? Does, does this lady want a car? Does she know someone that wants to buy a car? Obviously, I'm here to enjoy myself as well and have a relax, but I'm constantly looking for that next potential sale. Do you know what? It was so predictable. Do you know that? Call me psychic. I can tell you're not entirely happy what's happened to you. Oh, you just get on my nerves, mate. This is a very interesting car. That colour is rank. Any problems that you're willing to let on about? <laughs> No, none at all. Uh, I did MOT. You wouldn't be lying, it... would you? No, I don't. No, I don't. Other car dealers might do things like that, but I certainly wouldn't. Um, I, uh... You said that with a smile on your face. Listen, who could not trust this? See here on this light, there's a lot of water in there. I can easily get another light to replace that on eBay for about 30 to 35 quid. Do it in a couple of minutes. Anyone can do it. I'm a lot of money under it. Oh, my gosh, that's a mess. It's like it's been pooed on by about a hundred pigeons. Scott likes to think he's an expert in everything. I ain't got no time for that. Today, they're off to an auction line. I'm super excited because there's two cars that I'm particularly interested in. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having a look at them and uh, seeing what they're worth. I like to make a bit of dough. A bit dirty, isn't it? Funny, you weren't going to go for that car, was you? Because the gearbox is gone. Yeah, that's all right, mate. Don't worry about this. Nice bit of acting skills you did out there. Thanks. How much do you reckon we should put this for? One pound. One pound? And what about the rest of your stuff, your books? How much do you want to put them for? We do everything we possibly can to make money. Um, going out, doing boot sales, we do what we've got to do. And the best thing about it is we have fun and I'm good at it. Can I help you? No? Hello, darling. You all right? Yeah? Just to let you know, they're 20p each. Luckily, she's better at selling cars than she is at car boot sales, though caution is her byword. I get too scared when it becomes too much money because there's too much to lose. So that's what I've always thought. Small, quick, short, sharp sales. You seen this? What? One month's MIT. That's not good. Nope. No, it's not. I am so pleased. It was a big thing for me to try and tackle the van market, and now I've done it. It was really exciting, really, really exciting, and definitely there's something that I'm going to do again without a shadow of a doubt. Jim, the battery's flat because it's been sitting here since we bought it. Then when I see somebody else, a competitor, looking at it, I'll pretend I've seen that car for the first time. Just arrived. You haven't just arrived. You've been here ages. I've seen you up there having your lunch. I like to sell cars as I would like to receive them. Jim would like to do nothing. There we have a difference of opinion. The key thing to do when you're coming to a small auction is to get here as early as possible so you've got a chance to gain the information, what you need to know on that particular car, whether it's a go or whether it's a wrong one. My market is the first time driver and ladies. I really believe that I can relate to other women really well. If I can find a car for someone and, and change their life in, in a way that's going to be for the better of them, I will do. Wait. I'm happy today. I made a great profit. Auctions. You've got to be lucky to win big, but you can give luck a helping hand if you go out of your comfort zone.